everybody and welcome back. Sorry it took so long before to get back to you with the review on the water of the Voodoo Impulse 120. The weather here in New York has been disastrous and I've been busy. But I'm going to talk about my first experience. I went out for about two hours this previous Saturday and I want to start off with the rudder. The rudder. It's great to be able to have the rudder in this position especially when mounting it on top of the car. It proved to be very, very helpful. It was out of the way. Um, as far as the rudder control, this is something that I think is a work in progress. I might upgrade this whole unit, or at least the unit underneath, but instead of using the existing uh, rope, I'm going to probably change it with cable. If you can see the, my rotations, doesn't fully take advantage even though I'm getting a lot of movement I think um, it would benefit from changing and I noticed that when I was in the water the reaction was a little slow it lagged a little so that's something to keep in mind I think the biggest thing I want to talk to you guys about and I'm gonna in include a video on that is how the pedal drive performed and this is the prop um, initially when I got in the water um, started to move and it started to vibrate and at one uh, uh, on few occasions it actually popped out which is uh, a big problem it jumps right out I'm going to give the guys at Hudu an opportunity. They've been great to address this issue. I think it's a design flaw that they're going to be able to send apart. And I believe that one of my other subscribers uh, also told me that he contacted Hudu with that same issue where the prop just seems to pop out. He has the 105. This is the 120. So obviously this is something that they're going to be on the process of fixing and repairing. One of the things that I did was... I went ahead and I used this cutout and I'm going to include a video on how this cutout inside here provided some sort of stability for now until we get the replacement part to keep the, the whole shaft inside the kayak without it bouncing out. One other thing that I used also to help stabilize the car, the kayak on top of the car was these. Uh, phones and I got these phones from a actual box that I received a big TV on so it's like an industrial foam it's not styrofoam it's actually pretty sturdy so is this and it actually gives a lot of support in front and back of the kayak when you're loading it on top of your car as far as the stability of the kayak I want to say is super stable I'm fishing in waters where it can range anything from five feet to 40 feet. So the waters are pretty deep there. And I noticed that it's very stable. I come from using a kayak, a sit-in kayak, which was actually dangerous in those type of waters. So coming to this was a big upgrade. It's very stable. Um, one thing I want to point out, and I noticed that the right hatch was completely sealed both of these hatches are sealed, but this one was actually pretty dry. And I think it has a lot to do with the amount of silicone that was put around over here versus this one here. This one took in water, which happened to be unfortunate for me because this is the one that I had in my wallet and car keys. So I've noticed that, or at least I think something that we could do is to go ahead and put silicone around the edge here. And on some of these particular screws, on some of these particular screws, you could actually see a little gap between the plastic and the screw. So I think if I dab a little bit of marine uh, adhesive or silicone, it would prevent water from going inside this hatch. As far as this hatch, this one re remained completely sealed. So I guess um, this one has enough protectant around the edge that it didn't take in any water. Um, as far as this hatch back here, I see the silicone that's coming out to the sides and I don't think I took in any water. If any water came in, it might have came in through the strings inside these little holes that control the rudder. 
I wouldn't be too much concerned about it. At least for me, I noticed only a few little drops of water made it inside. Overall, the experience was really good. The shaft popping out when you pedal and uh, over the speed of two miles an hour is an issue, but I am going to give Udu a call this morning and I think they're going to have a solution to it. I know that there's other kayakers that are having that same problem, so I think that's going to be something that's going to be fixed. But for the time being, I'm going to use my insert. And like I said before, I included a video just to show you how much stability it adds. And I look forward to keeping you guys updated with some new changes that I'm going to do to the kayak. Um, there's some other modifications that I'm going to include in a subsequent video on things that I did to the kayak. Um, in addition to the things that I did in the first part so you guys will get to see that they're like helpful tips you guys could use them some some of you guys might know about it already but I like sharing the information one thing I'm going to say is that um, you know this is an ongoing process so I appreciate all the input you guys could give me uh, and be safe out there and enjoy and thank you very much for watching and I hope that you can continue watching as well. Thank you.